Hi. Hi, everybody. We're going to have a lot of fun together today, everybody. Hi. Let me introduce myself to you all really quickly. My name is Didi. Okay. So all of you can just call me Didi. Okay. And I like having fun by exploring different, different types of arts like music, dance, arts and crafts. I like doing all of that. Okay. So we're going to learn today about optical illusions. Okay, let me tell you, okay, what does that mean? It basically means when our brain, when we see something from our eyes and the message goes to our brain, sometimes we get confused and what we see is not what we understand. Okay, supposing we're seeing, um, we're seeing a cup. Okay, there's a, there's a nice picture. Okay, let me, let me show you like this. Yes. So sometimes when we, if so there was a, there was a cup here. Okay. Sometimes when optical illusions are around, our brain confuses those messages and those, that cup looks like two faces. Okay. So there are many, many, many different types of examples of optical illusions. Okay. There are literal optical illusions. There are physical optical illusions. And there are so many different things that we can do about it. But what does it really mean? And what are we learning today? Okay. So we're going to learn two different optical illusions today. All right. This is the first one. All right. It's just a rectangle. But if I tilt it like this, or if I tilt it like this, it looks like it's standing up like a pyramid. Shall we try and learn how to make this together today? It's so, 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 so simple. Okay. And it's really cool. Okay, all we're going to need are some papers, some white plain papers. Okay, we're going to need a scale or a ruler, right? And we're going to need a pencil. And if you guys have markers, like black markers, then or sketch pens, then nothing like it. Then we get to use more stuff. If you don't have it, that's fine. We're going to use a pencil anyway. And that's going to help us get, get through the entire illusion as well. We're going to start by making... A very nice rectangle on the center of our paper how are we gonna do this we're just gonna take our scale we're gonna take a pencil and with a very light hand we're gonna draw a rectangle okay so let's take our scale use the measurements of your scales because in optical illusions the whole thing is to be really 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 precise okay if it's not equal and it's not doesn't look the same on both the sides then it will not work out and it will become it won't look great it won't come out as an illusion okay so we're going to be really careful okay so let's start with drawing our rectangle in the center of the page making this side length only six centimeters Okay, make sure it's really light. You don't have to make it dark. Okay, so once we've drawn our left, left side, we're going to draw our center. Probably take it to 10 or 12 centimeters. Let's make it exactly double of it. Okay. Now do the same thing for the top hand surface of the rectangle. connect your lines okay which gives us a rectangle so make sure you've drawn it as lightly as i have drawn it don't make it too dark okay we will make it darker darken it later but just in case we want to erase something right now or we're not happy with the way it's come out we can at least rub it away erase it and it will still it won't impact the look of the entire thing right so make it really light right now all right the next thing that we're going to do with our rectangle is we're going to draw a diagonal line across the rectangle. Okay. Do that very carefully. Make sure that both the endpoints meet with a very light hand. Okay. I'll show you what it looks like. All right. Can you see this diagonal line that I've drawn across it? Right. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to draw a diagonal line. All right. Make it the two end points to meet. All right. And make a rectangle like this. This is our first step of our illusion. Okay. We just need to make sure that we get this really, really well. Now, once we're done with this step, we're going to move on to our next step. 
which is super easy and this is what's going to make this illusion a real illusion okay so what are we going to do okay we've already drawn our rectangle here right and we've got a diagonal line okay so now wait for me to draw this and just show it to you once and then you guys can start drawing it okay i don't want you guys to make a mistake here okay so just give me a second i'm going to show you what we're going to do okay we're going to draw a small line like this lightly and then take it back down try to create the illusion of a step okay i'm just going to show you this you see this there's a line that's going like this and then it's coming down right it's following the edges and the border of the first actual rectangle right but it's not the, all the four sides it's just two sides one and then one down okay so once we do that we're going to keep continuing and doing that till we do not e reach the end of the entire box okay so we're going to keep going and keep going i'll keep showing you in the middle because we can see the way that the lines have been drawn right they're just horizontal lines just drawn up till the diagonal line it's not going beyond it right there's nothing here right now right it's empty here so make the make the horizontal line start from this side and end and just reach on the diagonal so i'm going to go any further than that once you feel like you've done all the lines on that one side of the diagonal if you have a sketch pen or a thin marker or a marker okay this is when we're going to start pulling it out okay it's the entire thing with the lines coming down right it's all the same thing that we've got right at the at this point now this is when we're going to take the marker out okay so i have different markers so i'm going to use it and if you don't have markers now we're going to use our pencil to make it darker okay okay we're going to start with the outline first because then our illusion will look really neat okay so what we're going to do is we're going to start take our marker take our scale and draw the same box with the marker this time over the scale over the pencil marks okay and you should be left with an outline of the box and the pencil marks inside the box now once we're done with this stage this is when we start understanding and realizing that we've got different stripes inside our box which means now we've got to start filling in what needs to be where okay now we need to make sure that it's every alternate alternate box that's getting colored okay we're not going to color this one and then this one and then this one again okay it's not going to be three back to back it's going to be alternate which means the first one and then we leave the second one white and then again go to the third one and then fill it up with the black okay so like i said first we will do the border then we will do the filling in of the color okay so let's get right to it we're just going to take our marker again or your pencil or your sketch pen whatever you're using okay and just draw the border of that second line there okay now this is when you start ignoring your diagonal line okay that is just there for your reference you're not going to color on it you're not going to use it for anything else okay ignore the diagonal line and just keep outlining the markings that you've already made with your pencil okay here is our first one right bright and clear we can see it right and it's neat and it's simple okay that's how we really need it okay go ahead and outline all of the lines that we have drawn for the boxes inside the box as well has everybody done this has everybody reached here okay now let's proceed to the next step now here is when we're going to start filling it in okay so you're going to take your marker or your sketch pen all right and we're going to start with the outermost one all right so let's just start be careful do not go outside the lines because that will ruin your illusion
make sure there are no white spots in the center or anywhere in the edges Now you have to do this exact same thing on the rest of the boxes as well with the same amount of concentration but remember every alternate box right so we are going to jump to the third one right now And then the last box, make sure you're filling it in the exact same way, every alternate one. So go slowly, go patiently, make sure you're coloring the right boxes. All right, and that's how it will look once you've done finish and you're done finished with all the filling in of the black whether you're using a marker sketch pen a pencil whatever works and whatever you have now we're going to go to the next step all right now this step is fairly easy now that we've reached this part how we're going to make how is it that we're going to make this into this how is it that this becomes the pyramid right okay so it's very simple do you see this grayness here We've done a little bit of shading with our pencil. Okay, so we're going to do that same thing right now to create the illusion of the pyramid. Otherwise, this is just a rectangle with a few more rectangles inside it, right? And not a pyramid. So you remember the diagonal line that we drew really lightly towards the center, right? Using that as a reference now, we're going to start shading. We're going to start really light and then we're going to get a little bit darker and a little bit darker on these three white boxes the one that is separated by the diagonal line okay we're not going to go to this side we're just going to stay here and we're going to shade this out okay so i have some really fun ways of shading okay and this is honestly my favorite okay i like to put the the pencil flat on the paper like this okay everybody i want you all to do that just make the pencil flat on your paper and then take your finger your index finger and just press the pencil down from the nib so the nib will be on the table flat and the pencil's end will be in the air okay and we're going to take that pressure and very lightly we're going to start shading here okay so let me show you how it's going to look like okay very light so the more pressure you put on your hand the darker it's going to get and the less pressure you put the lighter it's going to look okay Make sure there are no constant lines that are visible. It just looks like a shaded little piece of paper. When we come to the next box, we're going to go a little bit darker. And as we go to the last one, we're going to go a little bit more darker. Okay. So this is when you start really pe pressing that pencil down. Another favorite hack of mine is to take a piece of tissue, wrap it, very small piece, you don't have to waste a whole tissue for it. Take my finger and use it to blend and merge the shading. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and we're just going to merge. We're just going to rub it over the pencil marks that we've shaded on. Okay, just blend it there nicely so it looks really nice and pretty and smooth and nice finished. Okay, so we're just going to keep doing one more layer over it get the shading exactly right so the illusion looks perfect okay so just do the same thing again with a light hand do your first one when you're done with that take the tissue again and just rub lightly the shading is creating a shadow which is the most important part about this entire illusion that's what makes it an illusion without which this will just be a rectangle once you're done with the shading, you're going to get something that will look like this. Darkest, a little lighter and then lightest. Okay. Don't worry about the edges. Don't worry about it going everywhere else. This is why we're going to use an eraser and just erase out the, the, the where it's, wherever you've made mistakes. Okay. Take your eraser and just erase the edges wherever you're feeling 
the excess shading from the tissue or with your pencils has just gone there just get it out and let's keep it very neat we're going to make sure that these boxes stay white okay so if there's anything that's that's gone there up there while you're shading as well just erase it don't worry about it all right now you all have to just finish it and i think this is our first illusion kids everybody this is so cool look at that i hope everybody enjoyed this bye thanks bye. everybody bye i'll see you thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you.